Yo, what up? It's Jiggity Jake here. And I'm Frankie. And this is MTV. <laughs> and here's Julia to tell us about Thanksgiving munchies. Hi guys, this is Julia and I'm here to tell you the top 5 foods for Thanksgiving. So with number 5 we have pumpkin pie and everybody loves that. And with number 4 we have the sweet potatoes and I know a ton of people who like that food. And number 3 we have the dinner rolls because how could you do a Thanksgiving dinner without dinner rolls. And number 2 we have stuffing and with number 1 of course the turkey. And now, why don't we head over to Ryan to tell us about Black Friday. Hey guys, it's Ryan here, and I am here to talk about Black Friday shopping. <laughs> During Black Friday, you can get some video games such as Destiny, Battlefield, or Fallout. Also with the games, you could get the Oculus Rift for all you VR fans out there. You could get some clothes as well in case you're running low, or even some school supplies as you need them. Have fun Black Friday shopping, guys, and be sure to stay safe. Now let's go talk to George and see what some of the Mountain High students were thankful for. Happy Thanksgiving, Mountain High students. We asked a couple kids what they were grateful for, and here they are. I'm thankful for the opportunity to continue my education. I'm pretty thankful for food. I'm always eating. I'm grateful for my hat, it has my dirty hair. I'm thankful for early graduation. I'm thankful for all those people that serve and protect our country. I'm grateful to have a job that I like and students that I like being around. Estoy agradecido por mi familia y mi perro. I'm grateful for my opportunity to have a successful future. I'm grateful for my little brother. He's like this big. I'm grateful for my family. I'm thankful for the roof over my head. All right, now let's have Alex to tell us details about the new walkway next to Chris's class. Speaking of Thanksgiving, we should be thankful for our new path. Let's go and find out how it was made. Construction guys right here, widening the path and making it more gradual slope so we're going to clear the snow from the ground. Thanks for watching and have a nice Thanksgiving, guys. But in the meantime, let's learn the history of Thanksgiving. We're all familiar with the story of the first Thanksgiving when the pilgrims invited local Native Americans to share a meal with them. But we bet you didn't know Thanksgiving didn't become an annual tradition until more than 200 years later. That first Thanksgiving in 1621 wasn't just one big meal. It was a three-day festival of eating, hunting, and other entertainments in honor of the pilgrims' first successful harvest. The Indians killed five deer as gifts for the colonists so venison was definitely on the first Thanksgiving menu. But we bet you didn't know that turkey was not. They also didn't have pumpkin pie or potatoes, which hadn't been introduced to New England yet. And while they may have eaten cranberries, they would have been served plain, not in a sauce or relish. The pilgrims didn't plan on starting a Thanksgiving tradition. In fact, they didn't repeat the November celebration in subsequent years. In 1789, President George Washington announced the first ever national Thanksgiving holiday, which took place on Thursday, November 26th. But it didn't become an annual tradition nationwide until the 19th century. That's when an American writer named Sarah Josepha Hale, most famous for writing the nursery rhyme Mary Had a Little Lamb, was inspired by a diary of pilgrim life to recreate that first Thanksgiving feast. Beginning in 1827, Hale waged a nearly 30-year campaign to make Thanksgiving a national holiday. She also published recipes for pumpkin pie, turkey, and stuffing that probably didn't appear on the pilgrim's plates, but would become the staples of modern Thanksgiving meals. 
In 1863, in the midst of the Civil War, President Abraham Lincoln announced that the nation would celebrate Thanksgiving every year on the final Thursday in November. But did you know, in 1939, President Franklin D. Roosevelt decided to move the holiday up a week to give Depression-era retailers more time to make money during the free Christmas shopping season. The move was widely criticized, and in 1941, FDR signed a bill fixing Thanksgiving on the fourth Thursday in November, where it stays today. One of the quirkiest Thanksgiving traditions began in 1989, when President George H.W. Bush granted the first official pardon to a turkey. Every November since then, the current Oval Office occupant has given a reprieve to one or two turkeys, sending them into retirement on a farm rather than to a dinner table. Though it only began in the late 20th century, the story has become one of the more unusual chapters in the long history of Thanksgiving traditions.